Well, the agreement of the High Seas Biodiversity Treaty really shows us that multilateralism still exists, it still works. We are facing global problems and we need global solutions. 64% of the ocean is beyond national jurisdiction. That is the high seas. And up until now, it hasn't been completely lawless, but the legal framework has been very fragmented. So there's different bodies covering different parts. Once this treaty enters into force, what it will be able to do, it will be able to, we will, to establish marine protected areas. It will also be able to conduct environmental impact assessment according to global standards. It also looks at access and benefit sharing of marine genetic resources. And the fourth element of this treaty looks at capacity building and the transfer of marine technology. The race for ratification is on. I think countries feel the pressure. I mean, I was there when, when this treaty was being negotiated and just feeling from the energy and optimism in the room. And I think it also links to other multilateral environmental agreements. We have the Kunming Montreal Global Biodiversity Framework adopted in December 2022, when more than 190 countries came together and said, we need to protect at least 30% as a land, and it also includes the sea. In order to get there by 2030, we do need a high seas biodiversity treaty to get there.